would. Look, that's another thing. I feel like it's all they feel like, you know, when we hang out with the little thoughts that we all a group of thoughts and we all move in the same way. But I expect me to feel like you hanging out with this whole dirt bag, cheating. I ain't never seen what a girl. And y'all ain't doing nothing. Like, y'all. You know why you don't never see him with a girl? Because he that nigga boyfriend. <laughs> When I'm in love, I leave a studio session quick to get home to mind. I do shit. You, you gonna know when somebody in love with you when you feel that love. Hey, sister. What go on when you not there? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Chicago. And I'm not saying nobody is gay or none of that shit in, that, in, in none of your situations. I'm not speaking it because I don't know, but it is something to question when a man puts his homeboy in front of you all the time. Yes, yeah, But that's how all of these young boys are. They all want to all be together and be playing the game and like that's how they be. Too much? Don't come in to You stick. can play the game with your bitch. You feel me? You can teach your girl how to play the game. Y'all can play games together. Good games. The Nintendo, whatever. You all, y'all can play against each other. You know? Girl, you better right. stop, girl. You better stop. These niggas I, and then another thing you gotta pay attention to. When a man always dragging a woman. Like a lot of these men sometimes they 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 talk down on women, you know what I'm saying? They belittle them, they kick their ass, they do all that. You have to watch them too. See what I'm saying? You have to watch them too. Cause they don't be all the way right. It be something inside of them that they missing out on what they need. So it's something you have to, you know, you gotta be careful. Yeah, girl, you got to be careful. You right. I ain't mad bashing, mad bashing they damn self because they the one out here playing these games. Because let me tell you something. Okay, so, but this the thing, though. So I has okay. So say, for instance, if you have some, a dude 
Okay, now I'm going to say it. I talked to somebody before that was always playing the game. And he wanted it. It was the game for me. Like, he was always on the game. And his excuse was always like, oh, you would rather a nigga be cheating all day than playing the game. So what you feel about that if the nigga always playing? That's, that's what you want? I don't know that if he always playing the game, you don't see him really having nothing going on, and he playing the game. I mean, that's cool, now. I mean, that's what you wanted. You think but he was, he was, he, but you, he do playing, something, though. but he was all. You just said, you just said that you do not want a man who go to the club, going to the strip club, putting bitches on the page, liking hoes, bitches. This what you asked for. So now you get you a man that just want to play the game. <laughs> And he not around bitches out niggas. He just at home playing the game. Well, that's what you asked for. But that's irritating. All day, though? But you asked for it. You would rather him play the game than, than be on Instagram like he hoes, right? I know. I bet. I know, but still. I feel like it's a balance. It's a balance. Like, no, I like you say him. Mama, like go it. sit down somewhere. You say she liked you to do. So you might have been tripping in there. I was not tripping. You is. Because it's like you want to be I was up. not tripping. You get a dude that's at home. Girl, sit down. If you get a dude at home playing the game and then you got a problem with him, but then, you know, I don't know, friend. No, but like, it was to the point. Nah, mama, you know, it was to the point where it's like he would come in town and hook up his Ethernet cord in my house all the time. Oh. Like, had the whole Ethernet cord going throughout the whole house every time. And I used to just be like, okay, like, are we going to go eat? Are we? Are you just going to sit in here? His arm was broke, though, or something like that. But he had, yeah, but still, it was boring. Well, that's when you come in and make the energy be fun, girl. But we was just, we was new, though. I know, but still, you could have came in and made it exciting. You're not boring. So guess what? You might end up having to have a boring dude because you're not boring. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's the balance. You're going to have to have a laid, chill, cool, chill back <laughs> dude. You're not going to be able to have a dude like that want to be in the headliner, like, because you're already the headliner. Right. Like, you have a dude who's trying to be in the headliner, then y'all always in competition because he wants to see you going to get the most views. And then you get a dude who just sit back, chill, and want to play the game. You're supposed to bring the fucking excitement, Regina. <laughs> I you know. are the exciting one. So what the hell is you talking about? You seen the one that want the fame don't match. <laughs> I know. You saw us being goddamn doing something, making some little movie acts or doing something while the nigga was sitting there. It was a long time ago. Well, you know, call him back. Not a long time ago. Probably like two or three years ago. Tell him hey. Tell him hey. <laughs> He was a low key head. That one little boyfriend. Oh! That one little boyfriend used to go with. Um, I didn't like him though. Your first boyfriend, I remember. Joshua. Yeah. Josh, that's my homie. Now he a homie now, but I ain't like it when you were with him. <laughs> Why you didn't like him? I don't know. It's something that fucker did. I don't know, but you know, I'm happy you overcame him. Josh was lit. He was turned up. Oh, I thought <laughs> you could do better. <laughs> And then you know it's okay. You single to now. Your I like so him that... too, girl. Look at my mama telling him I liked him too. Oh, she liked Josh too. Yeah, Josh was a Sagittarius like me. We actually got each other a lot. Oh, okay, that was cute. But, but then you got grown and got with your other one. <laughs> he went to college. He went to college and cheated on me. See, all Sorry, Josh. No, all I still love you. See what I'm saying? All them cheat. <laughs> they got to go try another hoe. And shit, you rich, you could have flew out to college, right? If he needed the, if he needed the moment, they get on my motherfucking nerve, these niggas. <laughs> but just know this, friend. I tell you this from my heart, not being no kind of way or nothing. You single till you marry. If you single till you marry, shit don't hurt you the same. I know you say, hey. Okay, so what if this? Okay. I always think this, like, oh, what if one time, like, okay, after, because, you know, I'm a huge believer in God. Me too. No. So what if one, like, what if God's seen what I've been through? 
he's seen what I like who hurt me and he sent me this person and I act as though I'm single till I'm married with this person and act different with this person but he ends up being the right person that got and sent. then he's not gonna go anywhere you're right and you're single till you married because you're too young to get somebody your life when I was your age, I wanted to be in love so bad, friend. Like, it was a thing to do. It was what they have taught me all my life. Like, you want to grow up and you want to get married and you want kids. And I've been with different dudes. And none of those dudes turned out to be shit. So that's what I'm telling you. And if I would have went into it, like, he was never my dude. No, but no way. When he started fucking women and doing stuff that really hurt me, I wouldn't have been paying that shit no attention because he ain't mine. No way. That's all I'm saying to you. So if you put that in your mind, I'm single till I'm married. So whatever a nigga do, it don't, it's not going to cause me no issues. That ain't my nigga, girl. Oh, he must have been your nigga because he wasn't mine. So he wasn't <laughs> fucking up on me. <laughs> I guess he was fucking up on both of us. I mean, because he wasn't mine. That's all What's your crazy. sign? Huh? What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. You see, maybe you could operate like that. I, on the other hand, I'm a lover. Like I, I am a lover. I get attached I to people quickly. Like I have the biggest fucking heart in the world. You've been knowing me since you was eleven, ten. You do, yeah. Home. You've been so, knowing my heart too, though. Yeah, I, I have a huge do. heart. But I'm telling you something. I wish somebody would have told me. I wish an older woman would have just sat down and just told me this shit, girl. I would have been different in my life. If somebody, you see, you looking at the fact, okay, like, I can't check this nigga, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, don't put your all into a motherfucker, man. You single till you married to a motherfucker, put they all into you. And the only way a relationship really works, a man got to love a woman more than she love him. Because if you love that man more than he love you, you will be an aggravating bitch. You got to love anybody, like, um... In any relationship, I feel like you got to be with somebody that loves you more or that matches your love. You because have to, because if you, if you love friends, somebody more, it just don't balance, right? It, it ain't going to be a drain you. session. So, you know, at this point in your life, Regina, you should have four and five friends. <laughs> Nobody's your boyfriend. Four or five? Four, That's you, a you, lot. You, but you're not fucking all four or five of them, friend. You just got them as your friends. Oh, yeah. I'm not telling See, you but I get five five I'm like... telling you to have four and five friends. Like, hey, when one busy, you can go on a date with somebody else. I'm not telling you, like, you know what I'm saying? You're right. I'm not telling you just to have sex with people. No, you don't need to be doing <laughs> sex <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My mama said, oh, no. If you got you a couple friends, then go have a drink with, or pull up and talk some shit with, whatever. I'm just saying. It's better than just trying to put yourself and settle down with one person when you're so young, you don't even know, you know what I'm saying, what life got to offer you. All right. And me, when I get back into this world, I'm going to have four or five friends. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Oh, yeah, when I get outside, I'm turned up. I'm not fucking all these niggas. I don't want to fuck them. I might have a little one, too. Yeah, but I ain't fucking them. I don't want to fuck them. They ain't worth them. Yeah. But being my friend, I don't mind giving you a chance to be my friend. We can be friends. Right. Yeah, but everybody ain't deserving of this cat. You know what I'm saying? They just not. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's okay to have friends. Like, I have friends. That's all I'm saying. Your friends and enjoy your life. And live life to the overflow. And don't be sitting back sad about nobody. Never let anybody have that much. You know what My I'm saying? My mom tells them just don't sleep with them. That's what I said, Toya. I ain't trying to teach your baby to be no hoe. I'm trying to teach your baby to be no shit, girl. I would never tell her to sleep with all of them. I don't want her to sleep with that one of them. <laughs> but just to have her friends and to live her life, that's what it's about, man. It's not about settling down, man, because you don't never know. Shit, you settling down with some shit you don't even know what you got going on. Girl, no, man. Mm -mm. Yeah. And niggas is the new group is now any goddamn way. Yeah. They yeah. can't wait to suck another nigga dick. Oh, did you see shouting? Try to pull it up in that car that other day. You seen Shouty. Why you so worried about Shouty? <laughs> that is my question. But I love you, Nay. And I want the best for you in your life. I've been knowing you all your life. I feel like anyway. And, you know, I just want you to be the best. I don't want you to be sad and never depressed no more about stuff we can't change. Mm -hmm. you, you got too much. You a vibrant. Like, a fresh album people see you 
And you have so many talents that you need to be focused on and not a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Some of us are here and put on the world to be healers. And like what you've been doing, we've been going through quarantine, you've been healing a lot of people, like healing them. You may be doing it for a joke, but just to get somebody to laugh, laughter is like, it do something for your soul. So mm -hmm. just to see you out here doing this and doing that, it's good. So if 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 somebody hurts your heart at this young of an age, then how the hell can the world enjoy your heart? Right. You won't be able to enjoy Reggie Day because Reggie Day will be a bitter bitch like how I used to be. And that ain't what we want. And I was bitter. I was bitter, girl. I've been bitter a, a, a many times. You know what I'm saying? We want you to goddamn be your glow who you supposed to be. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wayne and um, Toya Carter, what well, used to be, they didn't bring you in this world to be like, you know what I'm saying, the press. They brought you in this world to be a burst of energy. And that's what we that's what we here for. And everybody don't make it to our platforms and doing the things that we do. And some people do. And yeah. they don't know how to they don't know how to get an energy out. You know what I'm saying? Right. We gotta give our good energy, not being upset, not being mad. You know, hell no. Can't do that. And even with your exes, you still have to smile at the motherfuckers be like, Oh, what's up? You good? That's right. <laughs> yeah, stay up. All right. Period. <laughs> stay up. All right. I always tell any nigga I don't ever dealt with. You know what my favorite line to their ass is when it's over? What? I tell that motherfucker, I say, you know what? You'll always see me. You and your bitch. <laughs> I meant what I said. I went live. And every dude that I didn't ever fuck with, him and his bitch done always seen me. They seeing me now. Oh, yeah, and that's true. So it's just Same for me. Y'all gonna always see me. Y'all gonna always see me, baby. You gonna I'm, always miss me. You gonna always all that. But I ain't never fucking with you no more. But you and your bitch, y'all be sitting back saying, and then it troubles the bitch because now you ain't fucking with the nigga no more. All the bitch got time to do is talk about you. Did you see what she had on? Did you see that bitch? Oh, bitch, you just mad. You got what you want. And y'all still watching me. Right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? All them hoes are saying about me is, oh, she's so ghetto. She's so this, she's so that. But bitch, I'm still coming across your motherfucking TV screen. Hello. Hello. And it's just what it is, you know? So that's just how I feel. And I'm not mad at the bitches or the niggas. I'm, 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 I'm happy. My light be a pay. My water be a pay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy. Don't have to do all that. Yeah, that's one thing that at the end of the day, even when I get mad at anything, I try to just also humble myself and just be like, listen, people be in worse situations. You know, I'm under a roof right now. I got food in my kitchen. Like, I got clothes on my back. I am healthy and Amen. happy. Amen. You know? And that's what matters. You let these fucked up ass spirits come out of you, man. You been unstuck, losing shit left and right. Don't even understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because like when you allow somebody to stay with you and they're not making you happy, it makes you a, a different person. It makes you, it, it drains you from your personality and it, it just is toxic. You ain't toxic. right. You ain't right. You meant to have fun, baby. And show, and, and show other motherfuckers how to have fun. Not be upset and angry. And you'll be amazed how many people just, they, these niggas been looking at you. They just waiting on you to become of age for real, for real, to fuck with you. So don't wear yourself thin. <laughs> don't share yourself short. Because you'll be amazed, Regina. They talk that shit about me, girl. I be having all kind of niggas in my inbox shit. I be like, damn, this real. I ain't talking about no low budget ones. I'm talking about some big ones. I be like, oh. And one time a nigga was in my inbox and, you know, he plays sports, right? And I went on his page and him and his girl was on there together. You know, so get what I inboxed that nigga back and told him. I said, hey, you wonder why God take your blessings? You got a whole old lady over here that's a beautiful woman, but you in my motherfucking inbox because I got a blue chick and I might got more followers than her. Is you okay? <laughs> and when God start taking your blessings away, you wonder why. Get the fuck out my inbox. See, that's a real bitch right there. See what I'm saying? Another hoe would have just sucked it up just because of who he was. Not me. You better get your ass out my inbox, bitch. Right. And let me tell you about your blessings you about to lose because you over here trying to fuck with me. I was some fame shit. And got a whole family. Yeah, because this bitch look way better than me. I can get somebody props. I'm not feeling <laughs> no kind of way, but the bitch was a bad bitch. I'm like, girl, what he doing? Oh, the devil is a lot. This nigga trying to destroy me. Uh-uh. 
I ain't finna feed into that shit. Boy, be blessed. Boy, be blessed. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Mm -mm. And I ain't tell this how on him neither. Yeah. But I checked him to let him know he ain't shit. And made him think about it. See? So he probably ain't gonna be in nobody inbox for a minute. See? Please. No, for real, because sometimes you have to check a motherfucker. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't check so many people, and they didn't went to my friend. Mm. These, these boys, don't <laughs> these boys don't give a damn, do they? That's what I'm trying to tell you. They don't give a damn. They out here. Ooh, they so out here. They so out here, and they out here. They for everybody. When Cash Doll made that song, these niggas for everybody. She went like these niggas for the women and the men too. They for everybody. Come on, mama. What's all you say? We don't do married men or dudes with girls. No side chick vibes over here. No side chick vibes over here. But Toy, you know these these niggas. I don't even here. order sides like that, baby. Uh -uh. I'm I don't the fool. Bother with them. Cause the sideline lost. Bitch, you got to play sideline, baby. You lost, baby girl, and I told you that. And you ain't gotta like me. You a lost bitch. If you over here sideline, 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 Period. Hold this back at home, like, girl, I just fucked him last night, and that bitch over there all excited and shit. He was just with me last night, girl. Shut wash your mind. mouth. Just wash your mouth, because you sound uh, dumb. I don't understand what, how girls even bloat about that. They be so excited to their friend. Girl, yeah, girl, I fuck, I slept this dick last night. Back over there <laughs> my life. Girl, you just slept that whole pussy too, bitch. You These know? girls don't understand. It's like, it could be People don't think like and then like, these hoes don't be getting nothing out of the situation at the end of the day. The nigga is back up with his wife or wherever the fuck he's supposed to be in there, and you over here looking like with a lump lump the motherfucking fool. Girl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't trust them. Mm -hmm. I don't trust none of that. We had a fucked up time, friend, but I want you to be single till you're married. I don't give a damn. And, and I need you to maybe ask God to give you a, a clear understanding on what I mean when I say what I'm saying to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only to help you out. So your heart won't be heavy. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So you won't go to sleep with a heavy heart and a heavy mind. And your soul won't be all over the place because you already went into this. Hey, nigga, I'm single till I'm married. Can't get up under my skin. Fuck you. It is a great mindset to have. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna be harder because to I know do. because you love and I love to. You talking to somebody who got a big fucking heart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I want to be in love. Hell, who don't? But that shit come with too much pain. Girl, I done <laughs> been in love to the point I done been over my toilet stool throwing up because I done found out a nigga did some shit he had no business doing to me. I ain't yeah. going through that shit no more. I ain't throwing up no more. And it's been years ago since I threw up. I'm just giving you scenarios of what I don't want to go through. Mm -mm. Yeah, it, very, it is very stressful. Then it I be doing my be. little research. I do research and stuff. I don't just really be talking. I go read up on things. Like, one time I was wondering, like, why is it that African Americans hate on each other so much? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is our problem? Like, and I found out that racism actually started from a black man selling his slaves to the white people. So therefore, we will always be generational curse from each other because back then we couldn't even believe that this African, this hot, this African prince, this African king, would sell off his people to the white man. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it started all the way back from there. Yeah, people don't. It's and, so sad though. Is that real shit? How we can't just be happy for one another and we respect one another's situations and understand it. No. And that's yeah. why, and that's why they call us crab in the buckets. And that's why, you know, it's so hard for one of us to see other people grow and be excited for them. Like I'd be excited for everybody, but I'm just talking about in the world because this shit started out way before our time. And they speak about generational curses in the Bible. And that should have started back way from then. That it just went over. Around it, that's what happened. We be saying black lives matter, all lives matter. You know what I'm saying? We all matter. And just like if the white people would have bought us, if the white people had bought their people to us, you know we would have bought them too, right? Mm 
Right. We would have bought their ass. They just beat us to the punch. So all that shit fall up under that generational curse shit, man, from back then. You know? With us as a people. My opinion. Um. Yeah. We gotta leak up. Crazy, crazy. I lost you with the all lives matter. It's okay, baby. I just jump over the place sometimes. You know they say I got a little mental problem, but really, I wasn't trying to lose you. I was trying to take you back into your history to understand why shit be going on the way it go on with us in our relationships, in our race, just us as a people together. I just tried to open your mind up a little bit, bitch. But too bad you missed the motherfucking fair hoe. <laughs> somebody, somebody took her all over the place open your fucking mind bitch I'm letting you know that she is a generational curse that started way before us why are we so cut though why are we so fucked up as a people that's what I'm saying poo so little stay with that person has a little mind they never have big very little minded people you know can't be in this live if you're little minded you can't be in this live you know you have to be open to hearing th different things and Understanding different things and stuff like that. And it's okay to disagree to agree because all y'all.